guys, it's Throwback Thursday and today we're taking it back to 2005 with an episode of Ask DIY that features pillow covers with minimal sewing involved. Well, I've got a very simple sewing project for you today. Um, we're going to use grommets in this one and, and because we're using grommets, I suggest you use a fabric that's uh, kind of on the heavier side rather, rather than kind of a lightweight cotton. If you're going to cover, say, a 12 inch square pillow, you'll want to cut a piece of fabric that's 12 inches plus another inch all the way around. That allows for a half inch seam allowance. Plus, you'll need to cut an additional three inches on one end. And that's the end that we'll be folding over and putting the grommets on. Okay, let me set this out of the way. Get your two pieces of fabric. You fold over your edge where you want your grommets to be and iron that in place. You might even want to add a couple of pins to be sure it stays where you want it to be. Then you need to decide, you know, how many grommets you want to use and go ahead and mark with a pen every, you know, couple inches or so where you want those grommets to be. Now, to attach the grommets, this is really very easy to do. You buy these tools uh, at your fabric store or craft store. Take a pair of scissors or an awl and just snip a very tiny little hole right where you have, have put your dot or your little mark there. It's best to, to cut a smaller hole rather than a larger hole because you can always make it larger if you need to. There are two pieces to a grommet, one that kind of looks like a hat, you see like this one right here, and a flat little disc. You'll want to take the one that looks like a hat and put that through the right side back into the back, like so, okay? Then you'll take the ring piece, put the ring on top of that, then you'll take your grommet tool, stick that over it, and I'm gonna need to pull this toward me so I can really put some good pressure on this, and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze real hard, and it creates this beautiful grommet for you. Isn't that great? So easy, doesn't take any time at all. So you do that on both sides, and incidentally, it's a good tip to mark the other side after you've put the grommets on your first side. Then you can just line your, your pieces up, and with a pen, just put a mark on the other fabric right through the grommet that you've just created, like so. So now I have my marks that will line up perfectly with the others. Okay, now we're ready to sew the pillow together. Just take our pillow right sides together to the sewing machine and I've allowed for just a half inch seam allowance here and a back stitch along that first uh, edge. Now ordinarily I would use an off-white thread for this fabric but I'm using red here just so you can see it better. When you come to the corner you'll want to stop with the needle in place down into the, into the fabric. That allows you to turn it and keep the needle in the same spot. Anyway, you continue this same way all the way around on all three sides, leaving the grommet side open, of course, and I've already done that on this one. Let's turn this right side out. Isn't this an easy project? This is a great one, even if you've never sewn before. And this is what it will look like, a little, a little bag. I mean, this would even make a cute little toy bag if you wanted to run some ribbon through it. Okay, now what you do then, Put your pillow form inside. It could be brand new, or you could just use this to cover up an old pillow, either way. But I just think this is a fabulous look. Attach uh, your grommets together with some beautiful ribbon, and you have got yourself a beautiful pillow. The key to this project, of course, is the grommets. Be sure that they're on there really securely. Follow those directions, but it is a fun project to do, and I know you can do it. That is beautiful. And remember that if you plan on throwing your slip covers in the washing machine, Debbie recommends that you wash the fabric before sewing and that'll allow for any shrinkage. And for your planning purposes, one slip cover can be made in less than an hour. There you have it.
I would have never thought to use grommets to create pillow covers, but that's such a great idea, especially for beginners. And if you're looking for a no-sew alternative, you can always use fabric glue. If you like pillow DIY projects, Anne recently created basic pillow covers using sew and no-sew methods, and I also created accent pillows using stencils and paint. So I'll link those both down below in case you guys want to check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more from HGTV Handmade, and we'll see you guys next week with another Throwback Thursday. Bye guys!